Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a data store super easily inside of Roblox. Before we start I want to say that we got a discord server now so make sure to go join that in the description. Alright so the first thing you're going to want to do is get the plugin in the description. It's made by Fuzzlia so shout out to him for making that plugin. But what you're going to want to do is go to it and click on it, press the plus, and then we can just close out of it. We're going to go to server script service and we have this over here. What I like to do is change this name to data and we can add in a folder and rename that to leader stats and then we can add in a number value and name this to whatever we want, like coins. And once we have all that set up, we're going to want to go to game settings, security, and allow these two right here. And we're going to press save. And now we can play the game. And when we get in, you can see that we have coins at the top. And if I go ahead and change my coins. All right, so we have 100 coins now. And if we leave the game and then press the play button again, when we get back in, we still have our 100 coins. And over here we can see the folder of all the data that it saved. So we have a coin leader set and it saves 100, val 100 coins. There's also a data store config, which we can look into. Auto save, which you're gonna want to set to how often you want it to auto save. It also automatically saves whenever data is changed, but sometimes it doesn't quite work. So there's an auto save backing it up. You can change the data version. And then if you want it to save, then you want to set it that to true. All right. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and join the discord server. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.